investigation, we uncover a story that will make taxpayers sick. Dorchester County deputies say a woman has been taking the county's EMS for a ride, faking illness and using their ambulances to hitch a ride to downtown Charleston. Police reporter Harp Jacobs tells us how detectives finally put the brakes on the scheme and how much money it may cost the county. It's new tonight at 6. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Not to this extent, certainly not. Dorchester County EMS Director Doug Warren is talking about 51-year-old Audrey Ferguson. Medics have been to Ferguson's house so many times, they probably could find their way there with their eyes closed. Records obtained by Live 5 News show Ferguson has called EMS at least 100 times in the last seven years. We are told just about every time she has to be taken to a hospital. She'll have a... Uh, vague medical complaint, for instance, abdominal pain. But Dorchester County Sheriff's investigators believe Ferguson has been faking illness just to get a free ride to downtown Charleston. Sheriff's office says she's basically been using MS's taxi service. That is, and that's what it appears to be from our standpoint. Isn't there a time you could all say stop when I take you to the hospital? She has medical complaints that are legitimate, and so until she's been evaluated um, in determined not to be sick. We have to assume she is. Soon medics saw a disturbing pattern and got suspicious. Ferguson apparently never even went into the hospital to get treated. Instead, she told hospital officials she was okay and left. We transported her to one of the area hospitals and then she, oftentimes before we can get our paperwork completed, she signed out from the hospital and gone on to do other things. Warren called the sheriff's office and asked for an investigation. The detective assigned to the case said he wanted to be contacted the next time Ferguson called for an ambulance. Deputies say on April 2nd, Ferguson's free rides came to an end. A Dorchester County deputy was waiting here at Trident Medical Center for an ambulance carrying Ferguson. According to an incident report, he heard her call her son saying she needed a ride. And he also heard her tell a nurse that she wasn't ill, that she was actually feeling fine, and that she was leaving. Ferguson did leave, handcuffed, and was taken to the Dorchester County Jail. On the way to jail, Ferguson told the deputy why she called for an ambulance so many times. According to an incident report, Ferguson says she didn't have a car, and this was the only way she had to get around, and Medicaid paid for it anyway. It was part of her benefits. And all of those ambulance trips taken by Ferguson, each one cost $425 plus mileage. And what Medicaid doesn't pay, taxpayers will have to foot the rest of the bill, more than $400,000. And there's one other worry for Warren. The truck from Harleyville is tied up responding to this situation where we appear to have abuse of the system. That may delay our response to someone that has a more significant or more pressing need, and it, it concerns me. And listen to this. Warren says even though Ferguson has been arrested and charged, if she calls for an ambulance again, EMS will have to go to her house because medics cannot assume she is faking her illness. This is really complicated. So far, he, she is charged with unlawful use of 911 and filing a false police report. Is there anything else they can do? Maybe turn to counseling or something. It seems it'd be um, a problem on both sides here. That's very possible. She's still in jail, so we can't answer that, of course. But the other thing is, my sources tell me they're investigating possible Medicaid fraud, and that might be part of the investigation. Still more to come. Mm -hmm. All right, Harf, thank you.